आप में से किसी को पता है एनीबडी नो अबाउट एनाग्राम वेलकम रूबा हाउ आर यू नहीं मैं ओके वी हैव इन अ गूगल क्लासरूम अ टॉपिक अबाउट एनाग्राम लेट ऑल द किड्स जॉइन सो देन आई विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन यू synonym and uh, i think something with the graph sonography no not sonography <laughs> it's something okay there are so many words which so many things in the grammar now today's wow. our topic is anagram anagram is a word in which there is another word if you rejumble them if you change them you will not add any letter in it you will not add any uh, another noun or uh, alphabet in it but you will rearrange them and make them a new word got it can you uh, mean did you get the definition anagram is a word made by using letters of another word in a different order For example, sort out the following anagrams. Look at the example first. Toga is a word into a, an animal. They are giving you a hint. That hint will help you to change the arrangement of the word and make a new word. So toga, if we try, if we know that it's an animal, then it's very easy. If we don't know, if we don't know that's an animal, then it's difficult for us. so whenever anagram is one of uh, the game if you understand it's same like kasoti okay it's something the sister or brother of kasoti of urdu which we have learned before in this they gave us uh, some hints and we have to guess the word or name or something in anagram of english they give us a word and they then they give us a hint to rearrange or rejumble or unscramble it to find the correct answer like arrangement of new new words okay already there is a word and they will ask us to rearrange and make a new so it's very easy mostly uh, this game is uh, very popular in in other countries where students come uh, and they play quizzes and they win so let's start this quiz today with all of you okay the students who join me now uh this is anagram lesson which is uh, part of our english grammar and there is a lesson shared by teacher in our google classroom so i am explaining you about that now i want my students to help me and rearrange and change this anagram and find another word okay the first one is change agree in to another word for keen keen means to learn to know something uh, anything which is like you say yes to something you say yes i can do it you have ability to do so what is the meaning of keen will change the word agree the person who who agree what is he or she called agrer one minute i'm not able to write why agrer okay this there are two e's in yes. that agree no sorry e a e a eager when you have ability to do something you are that action is called eager like i want to do this and the person who does that the subject who does that is eager okay it's eager okay the second one is change thicken into a place where you cook very Kitchen. very easy very easy Kitchen. very easy yes correct okay number 3 who is going to do with me change fringe into a part of the body finger finger great uh in between kids i want you to prepare a pencil and a paper with you or wherever whatever the notebook i am going to give you an online task 
which I used to start with my kids when uh, when I was 12 to 13 years old. That was my first ever quiz or anagram or whatever you say. It's the kind of uh, it's a, it's a small game. Okay. After finishing this exercise, we will do that one in the short time which we which we will have left. Okay. Change cheater into a job. Cheater. Very good. So, yes, very good. So it means in this uh, small time, you are able to guess some words. Okay. Change a sleep into a word used by polite people. Vanya, I want you to unmute your uh, mic so I can hear you better. I know. Yes, better. Please. Please. Very good. I hope none of you are using Google Chrome. Nobody is using online answers. Are you cheating? Anybody is cheating? <laughs> okay. The next one is change your beard into something you can eat. Very easy. Anybody can guess? Ruba, can you guess? Something we eat. Arrange the word. B E A R D or B R E A. Bread. 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 Red. Red. Good job. Yes, the E looks like O. Yes, because it's the, the E fonts looks are, like o. fonts are like this better. The fonts are a little smaller for you. Okay. Change below the word below into the part of your body. Elbow. Elbow. Great job. This also helps you to open your imagination and this also helps you to learn more about the vocabulary. Okay, we are getting to know more about the vocabulary. I cannot go down one more. Why it doesn't go down? Which also means okay. Oh, oh, oh. So I will go down. It will change the arrangement of the word. Okay, till elbow you have understood. I can. Miss, number eight is China. Yeah, you got it. Yes, Please miss. Talk. You got one. China. Okay, I am. Uh, I am not able to go down, so I will remove all these drawings so far, and I will go down now. Okay. Yes. After China, we are going for this. Okay. What is a change? Card throws into a group of. Miss, I can see you clearly. Sorry, you cannot see me. You can't see me? Okay. No, I'm sorry. Okay, beta. Now change card throws into a group of musicians. Musicians. What is group of musicians called? Or castra. What are they called? Orchestra. Okay. Change plurality into a word of knives, forks, spoons, etc. In our kitchen, the dishes which in which we eat they are called crockery, and the knives, forks, and spoons they are called cutlery. What are they called? Cutlery. Cut. Larry, cutlery, okay. Cut from cutting spoons and knives and everything is used to cut the food. So from cut, you will remember forever now onwards that cutlery means the spoons and knives and forks. Knife. Okay, everything. Everything which we use to serve our food is called cutlery. And the dishes in which you serve your food is called crockery, okay. Miss, can you say it again because I can't hear you. You can't hear me. No, I, Miss. Anybody is having same difficulty? No. I think yeah, there is something issue with your. I uh, thought there is some issue with your uh, speaker. I think I am at. I am in the same tone as usual. I am. 
still you have issue maybe there is a network issue with you change thing into a time of day any uh, time of the day which is which has these all spellings in it try night night no night yes i can't hear ajwa beta how will i speak i am talking already just check your mic reconnect reconnect leave and come back again okay it's night okay correct yes kids come on participate make noise change heart into a planet very easy earth very very good okay change plug into a sport golf very good change disease into a popular place to go on holiday seaside oh aruba or uh, ajwa okay ajwa is saying so you are not able to connect my dear um okay just see this okay there is somebody who has admitted okay come on come on huzafa welcome huzafa why are you late today okay so what can a place be where you would like to uh, like to go and enjoy your weekend and swim which place s e a s i d e pool miss pool no the spelling check the spelling c side s e a c s i d Yes, Waalaikum Assalam, Muzaffar. Why are you late today? Very sorry. <laughs> It's okay, Muzaffar. We are learning about anagrams. Anagrams are those words in English grammar which help us to rearrange and make a new word. Okay. So this is a list and worksheet which I have shared with kids, and they are helping and solving it online. So it's a it's a topic in your Google Classroom. That's why I have chosen it to explain you. Most of the students were not aware about anagrams, so I have just explained them, and we have started. It's very easy. You have to be very clever to rearrange and make a new word. Okay, change recall into one of the room in the house. This will be a little difficult for you because this word you would have not. uh read in your books or lessons most of the time so it can be yes yes ye school se hai ye beta ye worksheet school ki nahi hai this is not from your school the school did not share any worksheet for anagrams there there is just a video lesson so i am just explaining you because there is a lesson i have to explain you i was supposed to do uh, ict with you but uh, it's little lengthy the topic is lengthy i have to first prepare it for you then i would come and uh, do with you practically cater it because it's not a uh, reading and doing and just copy and paste we have to understand everything in cater it it will take me time inshallah i will plan a very good lesson with you uh, for you and i will come for for cater it okay this is explanation okay change is cheap into a fruit come Please. on who said abdullah haris very good abdullah haris all of the words you need to do i want mania huzafa and ruba ajwa you left my dear no no miss i'm here but you can hear me no now yes yes now i can hear okay beta that's good come on now i want ajwa wania and even ruba also huzafa okay the Sign word is one. okay my dear a change hated into something that comes to you to everybody um it's like something which will happen there is light and there is something which is what can i say yes yes of course death very good death 
life and uh, sometime it's opposite okay so this is opposite life and death change super into something you keep money in very very easy purse huh purse aap aapne punjabi mein bol diya purse it's in english purse <laughs> okay there is difference in accents when we talk in our language when we talk in english the accents are different change flow into an animal very Bull. very good. very good very good my friend it's little lengthy but inshallah it's going to end uh change keen into a part of the body knee knee very good job change break into a job job any job which is done to which we have learned up no something which we have changed we bake it the person who bake is called baker baker okay great change t into verb verb means action eat eat so this was uh, uh, an anagram worksheet which helps you in understanding what anagrams are and now i would uh, make a quiz with you to spend my rest of the time if still there is anything in english uh ask me if you don't want to waste time on the quiz which will be just a word i will give you a word and i want maximum words to bring out from it that was the quiz do you want to do that quiz or do you want me to do with you a british council class giving you is uh, can you can you all see this word yes yes uh okay i cannot arrange its uh, size because uh, it's on it it's a word says content as to noble okay mm -hmm. i want all of you to now write in front of me at least more than 30 words from this word more than 30 or at least 30 i challenge you i have uh, made above 60 words from this this is the con this is the quiz when i was 12 years old i solved this quiz with my i don't know who gave me the first time but since then i am asking my students to brainstorm and make at least 60 words from this one word so are uh, you you are not uh, allowed to add a new alphabet in this there is no y there is no g there is no z w so you are not allowed to add those words in uh, letters in it the same arrangement same word letters only you are allowed to do now your time to start now in the end i want you to show me or take a picture and send in the in the zoom class and write the topic anagram okay your time starts now all of you आंटी यार कॉन्टेंट एस पी नो पर लेट मी ऑल्सो ट्राई टू मेक एज मच वर्ड आई कैन ओके आई एम गोइंग टू माई आई विल हेल्प यू इन 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 लेटर आई विल हेल्प यू एनीथिंग टू आस्क आस्क मी See my paper is empty. My page is empty. I will do. Don't say teacher, you have cheated. Yes, I have a question. Yes, beta. Can we like if there is one p in a word, like we can add one more p? 
okay you can you can double but i i think the genuinity of this uh, uh, quiz was that you have to not add any extra letter you should only use the the letters which are over here vanya is saying she can't hear you vanya beta i am talking same as i talk every day and my mic is okay my everything is okay she can't hear you i'm sorry beta what can i do so i am also doing with you okay it's boring no miss very boring ha huh? <laughs> ajwa <laughs> Okay, Ajwa. I'm sorry, but what I do because this is part of your studies. There is a there is a lesson. Okay, okay, my dear. It's okay. I can understand if your mic is not working. No problem. Try my beta. Try. Or if you if you really don't want, I can go for British Council also. No problem. How many words everyone has written? I have six. I have written six. Okay, good job. Anybody else? Abdullah, you have six written. Ajwa, how many you have written? Ruba, how many you have written? Huzafa. At least twenty. Then we will stop. I don't want to be quiet for all the rest of the time. Well, it should be a thing. Anything, beta. Any word which is actual a uh, proper word. No, I like stop, it should I will, mention I will a stop. thing. Now the time will end in in one minute only for you. Any word which is actually a proper meaningful word. ओके स्टॉप एवरीवन मिस चैट में कुछ देखे जा रहा है इसने उस्मान ने कुछ बोला है अच्छा बेटा आई एम जस्ट स्टॉप इन द चैट यस आई आई हर्ड हिम ही कांट टॉक ओके सो शो मी योर व्हाई योर वीडियो कैन बी आई कैन सी योर वीडियो सो किड्स आई वाज एबल इन दिस टाइम टू राइट एट लीस्ट 17 वर्ड्स ओके आई रोट दीस 17 वर्ड्स in this quick quick short time and i will i want you to uh, show me your just show me if you are not able to talk who is able to talk ajwa you can tell me how many words did you write beta you were feeling bored but at least tell me if you have tried abdullah haris one nine nine okay um i can't talk my mic okay beta no problem just just show me even you cannot show me on the video also what you have done
you can see something on the screen yes miss okay so kids i have written the word and plot test tan tin tent on at plan pant tip pot cot east past coat and tan i have written two times no yes tan i have written so my words are 16 in short time i was able to make 16 words but my record is for more than 60 words so this uh, lesson and this topic was about anagrams i hope you all understood should i give you any it's item 7 7 i can't talk my um, background is from this okay no problem beta it's okay don't worry it's okay no but if anybody is not able to talk no problem so only let me know did you all understand what anagrams are yes just let me know yeah and uh, this was your yes this was your google classroom a uh, lesson one topic over there and this is part of uh, lesson as well in the grammar also i i hope i was able to explain you about anagram and this worksheet if you want i will send you you can sit in the home and do it if you want to do otherwise it's okay and tomorrow i will try my best to bring for you google in, in this one uh, k turtle whatever maximum i i will be able to do for you i will try and we will try to also do some small coding sessions also that how to uh, ask the turtle to move actually for all of you i had today prepared uh, k turtle i i'm not able to see where it is it was on my i downloaded it at the moment i cannot see but inshallah uh i will get to back to you with the lesson of k turtle and its loops and everything in tomorrow or day after tomorrow session because it's very tough it's not that easy that we have to just copy and paste and start doing it we have to do all the loops properly all operators we have to understand what is k turtle i know you all have done one worksheet as well did you do that complete the worksheet of k turtle already the one with the pinned flag yes all of you have I done it done. done it but did you understand what was in that worksheet what what are they, what what are loops what is if but uh, if like unlike all these kind of loops and operators do you know how to use them because it's a practical lesson it's not learning lesson it is a practical lesson i will try my best to explain you and uh, there are so many uh, there is a software there is an app i have downloaded it i will learn it for you and then i will come back to you for this lesson if there is any important worksheet just write in the zoom class i will solve it for you and i will help and i will send it in the zoom class okay so today's uh, lesson was a little bit boring but it was important and i did not find it useless because it's part of your study inshallah i hope to see you soon in next class okay my dear i will end the class because there is nothing to talk you all are feeling bored huh